showing at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in Johannesburg, Tula already had the audience in the palm of his hand. That was thanks to his first ever lookbook, starring a host of what he calls women of consequence, all wearing his latest range. For this collection, my main inspiration was um, to create something that's ultra-modern and also a little bit on the gold side. We haven't seen gold in a long time, and by a long time I mean two years. So there's going to be a lot of gold, a lot of black, just um, beautiful clothes that are very, very simple, but they have a very decadent kind of feel to them. Award-winning Nao Nsoma shot the lookbook. It's not just your normal shoot, like your normal fashion shoot. Instead of using models, he's um, decided to, to use high-profile females that are doing well in the media and entertainment industry. Today, I'm trying as much as possible to show the people that I'm photographing their real selves and also the clothes because Tula designs for real women. Metro FM radio news anchor Melanie Bala reports on and lives in the real world. So she appreciates design which can do the same. I love looking at fashion. I'm not a fashionista by any stretch of the imagination, but I love the creativity, I think. Uh, when you look at what people are able to do, the things they come up with, that excites me because any creative outlet, I think, is a wonderful thing. I love Tula's designs because he designs for a woman. Um, they're beautiful, they're practical. Often you see some really outrageous creative things from designers that look great, but you wouldn't necessarily walk down the street wearing them. Whereas his clothes you can wear anywhere, anytime. They're classic, you know, it's not going to date in a year or five years or ten years time. His models and his fashion seem timeless. From her star turn in Mandela Long Walk to Freedom to being Murray Claire's first black cover girl in almost a decade, we found Terry Petto as bold as she is beautiful. What draws me to Tula Singh's work, besides the fact that I love him so much, <laughs> I think he's an amazing designer. I think he's one of the most intelligent people I've ever met. And he's so funny and he understands um, what design is all about and fashion and style, what's hot, what's not. He really cares about the people that he designs for and for me that's very important like I want to work with a designer that gets me a designer that will create a piece that I don't have to question or try to find myself within it must have fashion items a uh, little black dress a little white dress lots and lots of accessories I uh, love earrings so go crazy with earrings Marketing whiz Kahiso Umsimongo's iceberg white and aquamarine stunner was just that, stunning. It's very feminine, very opulent. There's something very indulgent about the clothing and it makes you look beautiful from the inside. So you need you glow out. You don't always have all these makeup artists and hairstylists to do your thing, but if you wear something like this, it just gets your, your feminine glow out, you know? Next, DJ Penny Leviani's turn. What I love about fashion is that it's an expression. It's a, it's a, it's a continuation of, of one story. I get to, 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 to tell more about myself. If I'm feeling powerful, I get to express that with my clothes. If I'm feeling playful, I get to express that. And it says, you know, where I am and what I'm about and where I want to go. Tula's design recognizes these women as powerful and confident individuals and fellow achievers. To see him get to this level where he's putting together his own lookbook and he's thinking about doing exciting things, um, you know, internationally, the US market, he's been doing things on the continent. And for someone like Tula, it's really, really exciting because it's, it's going to tell a story of a young designer who starts with a dream and it's going to inspire other designers, especially young ones, uh, you know, to do exciting things. Nao Nsoma's portraits showed clearly why she won CNN African Photojournalist of the Year. Together, they gave an electric introduction to Tula Sindhi's new ranges at Joburg Fashion Week. <laughs>